Hello guys, welcome to Backchat TV. I guess you're watching this because you think you can come up with the top 10 best boxes in the world today list that is better than mine. Well, I enthusiastically beg to differ because you've got no chance. Anyway, here's my list, what's yours? The boxing landscape is arguably as intriguing as it has ever been, with Oleksandr Usyk's epic victory over Tyson Fury one of the classic fights of the modern era. The past several years have seen heavyweight epics for the ages between Fury and Deontay Wilder. They have seen Saul Canelo Alvarez establish himself as the face of the sport in the eyes of many fans. And they have seen frequent displays of technical brilliance from champions in lighter weight classes. There have been upsets, title unifications, and there has been no shortage of drama. Anthony Joshua's post-fight rant after a second loss to Usyk stands out as a prime example. All of these fights and results have factored into the Backchat TV Top 10 pound-for-pound -pound rankings for men's boxers to be updated monthly. While there is no exact science to putting together lists such as this, a number of factors have been considered in making the rankings, including each fighter's overall record, recent record, level of activity, and caliber of opposition. Here is the Backchat TV Pound for Pound Best Boxer list for 2024. Number 10, the Gypsy King Tyson Fury, 34-1-1-24 knockouts. Fury suffered his first professional loss in a split decision to Usyk, despite eclipsing Anthony Joshua as the household name in British boxing in recent years. Fury, 35, returned to the sport in 2018 after two years off due to a struggle with his mental health. Since then, he has established himself as one of his generation's best heavyweights, dethroning Deontay Wilder to become WBC champion in the pair's 2020 rematch having controversially drawn with the American in their first clash. In October 2021, Fury stopped Wilder for the second fight in a row to retain the belt, which he did again in April 2022 by knocking out Dillian White with ease and once more in December with a late stoppage of Derek Chisora. A creative fighter who has demonstrated resilience and heart in the ring, Fury previously held the WBA, WBO, and IBF titles. The bout to crown the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 24 years was almost derailed when Fury was knocked down by Francis Ngannou in October, before the Gypsy King scraped his way to a controversial decision over the MMA star. The image of Fury on the canvas in that fight will be attached to his career forever, having damaged his reputation and seen him drop a number of spots in this list. He attempted to cement his legacy with a win over Usyk, however, despite a promising start and a spell of beautiful boxing, Fury suffered a count in the ninth round and was unable to arrest the slide enough to convince the judges. A rematch is set for December, offering him the chance to bounce back to the top of the division. 9. Errol Spence Jr. 28-1-22 KOs The American has not been the most active fighter in recent years, but he slowly built a fine resume as one of the top welterweights of this generation. Spence Jr. holds impressive wins against the likes of Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Carlos Ocampo. The Southpaw stopped the latter, as well as notably finishing Kelbrook, on the Britain's home turf earlier in his career, and a cancelled clash with Manny Pacquiao would surely have built up Spence even further had it come to fruition. In July, the 34-year-old finally faced Terence Crawford in a clash five years in the making, where he put his unified titles on the line against the WBO champion. Crawford left Las Vegas with all the belts after stopping Spence in round nine, in a fight that was nowhere near as close as fans expected. 8. Shakur Stevenson, 22-0-10 KOs The American 27 was already a two-weight world champion by the time he was 24. 
Now Stevenson is a rising force at lightweight as he looks to build upon his significant success at featherweight, where he was WBO champion and super featherweight, where he was unified champion. In his most recent fight in November, Stevenson won an admittedly dull contest with Edwin de los Santos, but that kept him unbeaten and saw him win the WBC interim lightweight title, which has been upgraded since Devin Haney vacated his undisputed belts. He retained the official belt in July, beating Artem Harutyunyan comfortably on points. Clashes with Javonta Davis, who narrowly misses out on this list, Ryan Garcia and Haney are alluring prospects. 7. Devin Haney, 31-1-15 KOs The American 25 entered our list with two straight clinics against George Cambosos Jr. in 2022 when he twice went to the Australian's home country, becoming and remaining undisputed lightweight champion across those bouts. A narrow, disputed decision win over Vasily Lomachenko followed in May 2023, before Haney vacated his belts and eased past Regis Progrise to claim the WBC super lightweight strap. The latter win brought Haney up to number five in our rankings, and he looked like a future number one. But in a stunning turn of events, the dream was dropped three times in a decision loss to Ryan Garcia in April, a truly shocking result. Yet due to Garcia's failed way in, Haney kept the WBC belt and it was later revealed that the challenger had failed two pre-fight drug tests. 6. Artur Betabiev, 20-0-20 KOs The Russian, who fights out of Canada, has been dominant as the unified light heavyweight champion. Some talked up Callum Smith's chances in January when the Liverpudlian travelled to Quebec City to fight Betabiev, but the champion dismantled his challenger with ease. Even at 38, Betabiev looked as powerful as ever, dropping Smith twice in round seven to force a stoppage. With that, Betabiev retained the WBC, WBO and IBF titles and improved his record to a perfect 20, zero with 20 KOs. Ahead of his defense versus Smith, Betabiev returned an atypical drug test result but was cleared to fight and his win set up an undisputed clash with the next man on this list, though an injury to Betabiev has delayed the long-awaited bout. 5. Dmitry Bivol, 23-0-12 KOs, entered our list in May 2022, following his stunning victory over Saul Canelo Alvarez. The Russian remained unbeaten and retained the WBA light heavyweight title with that result, which he achieved by fighting on the front foot, picking his shots wisely, and almost doubling the output of his opponent. Bivol, 32, won by two points on all three judges' scorecards, though the margins should have been much wider. A clinical showing that raised the Russian's profile immensely and could set up a rematch with Canelo down the line. In the meantime, though, Bivol was being tasked with getting past the unbeaten Gilberto Ramirez in 2022 and Lyndon Arthur in 2023. Bivol won both bouts on points with aggressive and sharp performances. Next up was set to be a unification fight with compatriot Betabiev, but the latter's recent injury saw him replaced by Malik Ziad, whom Bivol stopped for his first KO in six years. 4. Sol Canelo Alvarez, 61 2 39 KOs In the 11 years since his loss to Floyd Mayweather, the Mexican has established himself as the face of boxing, with wins against Erislandi Lara, Miguel Cotto, Amir Khan, Gennady Golovkin, Daniel Jacobs, Billy Joe Saunders, Jamel Charlo, and many more. The effectiveness of the 33, year-old's counter-punching, slickness of his head movement and beauty of his bodywork make him a joy to watch. Detractors will point to Alvarez's clenbuterol controversy in 2018 and the fact that a few of his victories have come via controversial scorecards. 
Supporters will give more credence to Canelo's admirable level of activity and the great number of formidable foes he has faced. His three victories in 2021, all stoppages, saw him become boxing's first ever undisputed super middleweight champion. A title holder in four weight classes, the Mexican failed to add a second light heavyweight belt to his collection when he was outpointed by unbeaten Russian Bivol in May 2022. That result marked just the second defeat of Canelo's professional career and saw him drop from number one in our list. He rebounded with a decisive points win against aging rival Golovkin, though that result proved little at this point. The ambitious Mexican then retained his super middleweight belts against John Ryder, Charlo, and most recently, Jaime Munguia. 3. Naoya Inoue, 27-0-24 KOs, one of the lesser-known names on this list to the more casual fan, the Japanese does not lack in prowess what he may lack in profile. Inoue has the second-best stoppage percentage in our rankings, part of what makes him such an exciting athlete to watch, along with his effortless evasiveness, brutal body attacks, and frightening level of output. The 31-year-old stopped Paul Butler in December 2022 to become undisputed bantamweight champion and the first Asian boxer to hold four world titles in a weight class at once, having previously held gold at light flyweight and super flyweight. However, he vacated his bantamweight belts in January 2023 to move up and challenge Stephen Fulton. 2. Terence Crawford, 40-0-31 KOs. The three-weight champion has one of the most impressive resumes in the sport and it just keeps getting better. Five of the Americans' last 11 opponents were undefeated before facing him, and all 11 were stopped by Crawford, who has a tremendous knockout ratio. Wins against big-name boxers Brook and Porter in 2020 and 2021 further enhanced the 36-year-old's profile, especially his victory over the latter, before Crawford stopped David Avenesian in December 2022. Then, in July, he schooled Errol Spence Jr. in what was billed as the fight of the decade, delivering a masterclass to expose a bigger gap between the Americans than anyone had predicted. In beating Spence in round nine after scoring three knockdowns, Crawford took his rival's three titles to become undisputed. The victory also made Bud the first man in boxing history to become undisputed champion in two weight classes, following his brief reign atop the super lightweight division in 2017. He has since decided to move up to super welterweight, where champion Israel Madrimov awaits in August. Finally, we have made it. Number one, the great Oleksandr Usyk, 22-0-14 KOs, an Olympic gold medalist who reigned as the only undisputed cruiserweight champion of the four-belt era before moving up to heavyweight, where he became WBA, WBO, IBF, and IBO champion in 2021 by outpointing Anthony Joshua with relative ease. The Ukrainian, 37, then beat Joshua on points again to retain his titles and stay unbeaten. In August, the Southpaw stopped Daniel Dubois after recovering from a controversial low blow, again demonstrating that he is as technical and awkward as they come in the heavier weight classes. His points win over Fury delivered after so much hype, with his dominant ninth round showing his power well and truly carried up to the heavyweight division the definition of a pound-for-pound -pound great. Crawford himself stated Usyk deserved consideration for the top spot in the rankings. Usyk becoming one of just three men to be undisputed at two weights in the four-belt era. Next up for Usyk is a December rematch with Fury, barring any complications. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, because if you didn't, it might have got really ugly for you. But since you did, I really appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, 
and subscribe to Backchat TV Sports. Do it now, I ain't got all day.